You can't just send a message saying hello and no, I'm being, I'm, I'm honestly being so for real right now in terms of finding friends or finding friendships and stepping out a little bit more and all of that. You would have to do it. You got to get out of your house. And she looks like she's a nice girl. You go up to her and be like, hi. I'm so, hi, sorry, sorry. This, this might seem a bit weird. Even crack a joke. You you really, really don't have any questions. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Katleo Malela. Thank you so much to you for being here. As always, thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Now, I really do want to thank you for supporting the channel. I know that a lot of you guys, I know your names. I know the people who comment. I really do appreciate and I see it and it humbles me every time that you keep coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Now, this is part of a series. This video is going to be part of a series by and for introverts by an introvert and for introverts and the reason why I came upon this idea I haven't done any videos regarding this series in a while but the reason why I came upon this idea is one because of a TikTok that I saw recently which I will share with you and we will watch it together and then I will then react to that and give my two cents uh, with regards to the topic at hand today. And also because we're going into the warmer months, we're going into springtime, so a lot of people are going to start emerging from their hibernation. A lot of us are going to start going out more, getting drinks, meeting people, or in this case, hoping to meet people, especially come summer, we want to engage with others and we wanna have some fun, right? Summer, springtime, we want to have some fun. So. I I thought it would be great to do a video as an introvert for introverts on how to make friends as an introvert. And I know this is really difficult, especially when we get to the point of adulting and we think about life and responsibilities, family, work, all of this, that as an introvert, already just talking about those things is just so exhausting, right? You just want to do your thing, go to the family function, see your family every now and again. But also at the same time, you just want to go to work and come back home. But also at the same time, you want to make friends. Yes. Or you want new friends. Or you want to make more friends. And I thought this would be fantastic for me to do this video so that we can help one another along. So this would be interesting, right? I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let us get started. Let me pull up that TikTok and I will watch it while you watch it. It just came up to me. Uh, are we are we in the video? Oh, we're within. We're within. Okay, perfect, perfect. No, that's great. That's great. So I saw this uh, video and I thought to myself, this is so interesting and we should talk about this. Okay, so here we go. All right. We are going through the transformation of friendships right now. People are ending their friendships. They're evolving. People are actually going to therapy with their friends. It's really important to think about what makes a good friendship. We live in a culture that often deprioritizes the nurturing that a friendship requires. While it's okay to have friendships where you message each other once every three months and then you pick up where you left off, it's also important to make sure that you show up for your friendships. So here's a few things that every friendship needs. Consistency. You have to be reliable with your friends. And if you can't, you have to let them know. Vulnerability. You cannot have a true authentic connection if you are not vulnerable with the person in front of you. Every friendship needs emotional safety. You should be able to trust this friend. You should be able to be yourself around them. You shouldn't have the fear of judgment. Friends need to be supportive and be able to hold each other accountable. They shouldn't be egging you on to do things that are damaging for yourself, but at the same time, not be so harsh and critical that you're afraid to tell them what's going on. And finally, the cornerstone of every healthy relationship, communication. You need to have healthy communication patterns in your friendships, be able to tell them what's going on, what you're experiencing, and be able to receive that. Okay, so I saw this and I thought to myself, yes, 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 and yes, and yes, and yes. But I do know that it's going to be very, very difficult to start 
or get yourself out there, especially as an introvert, but to make new friends, right? So I thought to myself that, okay, I'm really good at sustaining long-term friendships. All the friends that I have are all long-term friendships. The, the shortest friendship that I have is on two years. Everything else is beyond that. So I thought to myself that, you know what, I've got a little bit of experience with making friends. And I think that it's so important for me to share that with you today. People don't believe that I'm an introvert and I'm tired of explaining why I'm an introvert. But if you watch this channel quite regularly, you will know that I'm an introvert. It will not take a rocket scientist to see that I am an introvert. But I did want to share with you and discuss with you guys some of the things that you could do as an introvert that might help you get those friendships. And not only that, might help Help you maintain them once you've already established a friendship connection with someone. So first things first, let's talk around friendships, especially as an introvert. It's not rocket science. We all know that introverts really struggle to make connections, especially when it comes to friends. It's almost like it's, it's, it's so difficult because it's you having to do something that makes you have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to think about things that you normally wouldn't do on a daily basis and actually force yourself to do it. Now, I know that I would never really encourage you to force yourself to do something. However, if it is a friendship that you are looking for, I really do recommend that you do these things to start off in terms of finding friends or finding friendships and stepping out a little bit more and all of that, you would have to do it. You got to get out of your house. And for Saz. As much as we're going to talk about social media as well, we're going to talk about how those things can actually help you. But the biggest thing is you have to get out of your house. So before I start with the maintaining of those friendships, I will start by saying to you what you can do to get those friendships. And it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy. However, if this is what you want so that you can have a great spring and summer where you're doing brunches, you know, with your new friends, where you're kikiing and then it's nice and then you're doing a little weekend away, short break, short left with your friends, these are some of the things that you're going to have to do. It's first things first, I really think it is so important to one, be okay with yourself. Know that you are an introvert, know that you struggle with making friendships, but you can use the fact that you are an introvert to your advantage. Engage with people who share the same interests as you. Okay, let, let, let's, talk, let's talk about it. So let's I think it's really important to engage with people that have the same interests as you. So. If you're on social media and you're an introvert and you keep scrolling on TikTok or scrolling on Instagram, scrolling through Twitter and thinking, oh my gosh, people are this, maybe look for content that is specific to introverts. How this video came up on my TikTok is because I watch content like that. Yeah, this is what I want. And I continue to watch them. Like I'll watch one video and then the next and then the next. So the algorithm changes to suit my personality and my character, right? So because I'm an introvert, I like to watch people who are introverts and engage with some of the things that we share a common interest in. Okay, so the first thing to start that you can do in your house without having to leave the house yet, without having to leave the house yet, is engage in content that is very introvert focused and centered so that you can understand one, that there are people that are out there that are just like you. There are people that are out there that share the same challenges, that share the same similarities as you. But once you start seeing all of that, once you start, your algorithm starts changing and you start seeing whether local content creators or international content creators, what Whatever it may be that are in the same spectrum as you as an introvert then it is time to actually engage very important so if you see a content creator who you resonate with so much okay if you resonate with me because you're an introvert and you're like oh, God, I was an introvert and because it seems so cool bro if you find more content creators that are like that and you find yourself watching their videos quite regularly, go into the comment section. Go into the comment section and actually 
comment and read the comments because what you will then discover is that there are a lot more people that are like you there are a lot more people that are like oh my god this is so me then you comment on precious's comment where precious is like this is so me you know the other day what 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 you comment on precious's comment watch what happens and then you comment on the the creator's uh, content and you're like oh thank you Kateo. thank you naledi you know i relate with you so much what what and you do it regularly Watch what will happen. The people that are in that comment section are going to be regulars. You're going to see that, oh yeah, I saw her comment the other day. I'm like, I, 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 I saw her comment the other day. And then they're going to start commenting to your comments. And this is a great way to start meeting new people, even without physically meeting them yet. Once you start establishing that, think about what your hobbies are. Think about what your interests are, okay? Some of us like this, okay? Yeah. We can do it alone in the house or we can do it at a coffee shop or we can join a book club or we can join, you know, we can find a friend who reads online and request to do a buddy read with them because they're currently reading a book that you like and you wanted to read that book and you have it. So you think to yourself, oh, let me just ask Ditebu. Let me ask her, like, oh, if, if you can see that she's put up a video that this is the current book that I'm reading, comment on that and actually say, I've got the same book. I would really love it if we could buddy read it together and all of this and watch what the response is. Now, being okay with yourself, which is what I mentioned before, means that you then have to be okay with disappointment. Sometimes you might not get a response. Sometimes people will mise you. That is okay. That has no reflection on you or your character. Sometimes people are just not in the mood to speak or they don't want to make friends or, or they notice your comment and that's it. They don't want to engage you any further. That is okay. But it should not now be limiting to such a point where you feel so like, oh, I tried and oh, no, what's the point in all of this? No, keep going. Eventually, you will hit the jackpot. Now, when you find people in the same interests, sports soccer clubs, netball clubs. Maybe you're somebody who likes to do indoor action netball and you want to do it, but you don't know who. Google it. I or where, Google it, right? Maybe you want to do the pedal, the latest craze for people who love to go to the gym and work out this pedal what what right? Maybe that's what you want to do and you want to try that as well. Then definitely find sources where you can meet people who are in those groups. Maybe you're a runner, but now you don't want to run by yourself. Look around your neighborhood. Maybe there are running clubs that also encourage safety because you're running in numbers, but you can actually run with people and then join the club and then start talking to people. Now, this is the moment where you're going outside, right? This is the moment where you're going to the coffee shop. This is the moment where you are going to the book club. Here, speaking, imperative. You cannot just get there and just be waiting there, stretching, getting ready for your run, but you're not really engaging anyone because chances are then you're going to look or come across as if you are aloof, you're standoffish, you're nonchalant, all of this. Put your best foot forward. As frightening as it may be, engage in those spaces that you share the same interests in, but at the same time, put your best foot forward. If you see another runner standing by themselves, you go up to them, you're like, oh my gosh, I really like your um, watch, your Fitbit. I really like the belt. It's really nice. I've got the same watch. Or how much is it? Or, um, you know, how do you use it? You know, you ask questions. Very important to also ask open-ended questions. Do not ask questions that are just like, oh, how are you today? Oh, I'm okay. Do how wanna? You know what I'm saying? You need to actually give off that interest, which is something that I'm really good at. I can ask you or lay a compliment like, oh, your earrings are stunning. The other day I was at the shop and somebody was like, oh my gosh, I like your stack. And I was like, oh, thank you. I actually got these. Yo, oh, no, I like the one with the star. What? Hey, I want to pierce here. And I'm like, girl, pierce. And it became a huge on conversation. 
I wasn't trying to make friends with her, but it became a conversation. One-on-one -on -one introverts were really good at conversation. We're really good at analyzing, assessing, and um, nonverbal communication. We're really good at that stuff. But you kind of have to start somewhere. Okay, that's point number one. Engaging. Start socially and then branch out and actually go and invest in and apply for uh, spaces, book clubs, running clubs, whatever that might uh, encourage you to be in spaces with people that share the same interests as you. I That's said not. engage from the onset. I actually mentioned this in point number one, so I'm not going to dwell on this one too long. Engage from the onset. Communicate, 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 communicate. As frightening as it might be, it's so important for you to encourage that communication. You have to do it. So things like asking questions, open-ended questions, questions that encourage conversation. Do you like the dress that that girl over there is wearing there in the pick and pay? And she looks like she's a nice girl. You go up to her and you're like, hi, I'm sorry. Hi, sorry, sorry. This, this might seem a bit weird. Even crack a joke. If you're a little bit nervous, crack a joke to maybe make you a little less anxious. Sorry to just come up to you and whatever, but I love your dress. Watch how that person reacts. Watch how their face will light up. And she's like, oh, thank you. You like my dress? <laughs> thank you. I got it from Zara. Oh, did you get it from Zara? How long ago did you get it? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, no, I'm thinking maybe I might just pop into Zara. It's so pretty. While you're at it, notice her earrings. Your earrings are also really pretty too. Sorry. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you don't have to say sorry all the time. I just know that it's something that I do a lot and it's a coping thing, you know. But you can just say your earrings are stunning too. Oh, I got them from Lovisa. Oh, okay. No, well, thank you. Da, da, da. Keep it moving. It's okay. But you are learning to communicate. Same happens in the running club, in the gym, in the gym space. Right. Do the uh, 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 almost said aerobatics, <laughs> do the aerobics classes, do the Pilates classes, do joint classes with a bunch of people, because already you can tell that you share the same interest. One Tip number three, be open minded. Just know that it might not all go the way that you want it to go. And that is OK. It might some people might disappoint you. Some people might not respond to you. Some people might give you ugly looks. Some people might do whatever. It's okay. At the end of the day, we need to make mistakes and we need to crawl before we can run. But if you do not get started with the crawling, which means that you have to actually be open-minded, things might not go the way that you want them to go. That is okay. Some people are not looking to make new friends. Some people are looking to make new friends. It doesn't matter what it is, but I think it's really important for you as the introvert to actually put yourself out there, put your best foot forward, as I say. So, really be open-minded. Do not take things personally. Do not take things to heart because a lot of the time, people have a lot going on. Life is lifing. People have their own friends. They're not looking to make new friends. People are going through some really big mental health struggles that you are unaware of, that you're not privy to. So it's okay to understand that you have to be open-minded when it comes to something like this. You have to just tell yourself that, you know what, I might win here, I might lose, but it's okay. It's nothing on them, it's nothing on me, but I'm going to just try anyway. Anyway, so even if that means, even if you jump into your your faves content creators dms okay and you want to ask them that oh i like your what what blah 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 okay they might respond they might not respond or the girl that you like she might not necessarily be a, a michali or a naledi could you imagine how many dms those people get daily so come on but let's be, let's be pragmatic, okay? Let's be sensible about this whole thing. But maybe there's a smaller creator or there's somebody who, anyone who posts videos is a creator, according to me, according to my standards. I mean, you have created something and you've put it online. So maybe you like that person and you like her personality or his personality. Then drop them a message. They might respond, they might not respond. You can't just send a message saying, hello, and no, I'm being, I'm, I'm honestly being so for real right now. Why? That's why I said open-ended. 
right? Open-ended questions, open-ended statements. Hi, Katleo. I really like the shirt that you were wearing in your last video. Yo, it was so nice. What, 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 what? Can you tell me where you got it from? You know? Or, hi, Katleo. Something that I get asked a lot about my hair. Hi, Katleo. DMs. Hi, Katleo. Um, I really love your hair color. Can you tell me what your hair color is? Then I'll tell them, hey, thank you so much. This is the hair color, blah, blah, blah. It's a netto. I don't know, something about honey caramel, girl. And I literally respond the way that I would typically talk. Even in my videos, hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl. Um, I got the t-shirt from so-and-so. Oh, the hair color is this and this. And then if somebody responds back and they're like, oh, oh it's so pretty or whatever, they're trying to encourage conversation, then it will be at my discretion if I want to continue with the conversation or not. But if you're going to just send a, you know how on TikTok, a wave? You send just a wave? Come on, man. Uh, now we're going on. to get into managing your friendships as an introvert. Now you've scored yourself a friend. You like her, you want to, you know, you just want to, you just want to do things with her. You want to try out new things. You want to do whatever. Now is where the work comes in. Okay. Now is where the work comes in. So as an introverted person, it's already hard enough to try and engage people, to try and blah, 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 all of this. But here's the thing. Once you have secured yourself a friend, somebody that you talk to regularly on a daily basis or every other day, every other couple of days, make the effort. Now, if there's one thing about introverts that we are really terrible at, except me, <clears throat> I make the effort with my friends until I can see that it's not reciprocated, then I pull back a little bit. But make the effort, make the time, ensure that you are present for this friendship. So make the time, plan the dates, you know, call them, be like, listen, do you want to meet up for a coffee and cake this weekend? Let's just, you know, let's just meet up and blah, blah, blah. If you, if you're available, don't put too much pressure, but show that the interest is there in spending time with that person. Yes. But do not pressure and do not be offended if they cannot make it. Again, this is a new friend. So everybody is still assessing each other. Everybody's still sussing each other out. So be patient. You have to encourage a little bit of patience, especially when it comes to your friendships, especially as an introvert. But you need to now start to make time and make efforts to plan things, to hang out with them, to see them. If you can see that everything that you're attempting and you're trying is not working out, move on to the next friendship. Move on to trying to find somebody else, somebody new who can be a good friend to you. It's okay, but you do not have to. Now that you've scored the person, now you expect them to do the work when you are the one who reached out to them. So make the effort, make the time. Call them, send them a text. Hey, I was just thinking of you today. I hope you're doing well. Have a great day. I do that with my seasoned friends as well. Hey, one of my good friends today sent me an, uh, 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 a WhatsApp and she said, girl, those voice notes that you sent me on Saturday, I'm only listening to them now. And I responded and I laughed. I'm like, ah, go somewhere where now. It's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. And we do that to each other all the time. I didn't get mad that she didn't see them because, or she saw them, she couldn't respond. She was busy that weekend. She had a lot of things going on. So for me to now be upset at the fact that, ah, yeah, but me, I text you now, you don't come back. No, no. Number two, communicate. Along with the making time, making plans, making efforts, making whatever, communicate. Don't let it go too long because people will naturally distance themselves when they can see that all their efforts are not being reciprocated, they're not being heeded, they're not being seen. So people are not going to go out of their way to uh, continuously do their best when it comes to you if you're not going to communicate and reciprocate. But communicating is very, very important, especially when it's just even the bare minimum. Comment on their videos, comment on their reposts. Like maybe they reposted something, they don't post videos on TikTok, but they've reposted something. Watch the video that you've re they, they've reposted and then send them a message like, hey, I just saw the video you reposted. Isn't that true though? That's insane, bruh. And then they're gonna start talking to you.
So it's all about how you approach. Your approach is very, very important. And communication is an integral part of approach, especially when you're trying to make new friends as an introvert, but also manage your friendships as an introvert as well. Okay. Know when to say no and that it's okay. Even with your introverted friendships, I feel like a lot of the time we overextend ourselves in the introverted friendships where we're like, I don't like to disappoint my friend. I don't like to seem like I'm not present. I don't like to seem like this, this, this. But when it's an opportunity for you to say no and in your heart you're like, no, I can't make it, then say it. Be honest and very brutal about uh, where you are at or, about, or with your friendships. Be honest to your friends. There's no need for you to sugarcoat or end up doing things where you end up people pleasing when you don't need to be people pleasing. So be very, very honest. It's okay to say no. It's okay to say, unfortunately, I won't be able to make it this Saturday. But if you're interested in the friendship, unfortunately, I won't be able to make it this Saturday. But can we do maybe two Saturdays from now? I really would appreciate that. I'm so sorry, but I really want to see you. Oh, so then you say, can we do two Saturdays from now? How does your schedule look then? Schedule really gets me that word. Schedule. How does your schedule look then? You know what I'm saying? So do things that encourage that I might be busy. I cannot do this this weekend. I cannot be accepting of you communicating with me like this. So no, that's unacceptable. No, I don't like the fact that I'm trying. I'm putting in my efforts. I've been the one trying. Maybe no, maybe cut it. It's okay to say no to yourself and to your friends. It's you being honest. It's you being brutally honest about something and that's okay. People that are there for the real reason, for the honest and truthful reason when it comes to the friendship, they will not be offended by that. And then finally, be yourself. Enjoy the ride. Have a good time. Test it out on yourself. Like literally, honestly, encourage and test yourself out and see if this is something you could do. You, know, you really, really don't have anything to lose. You are the one who's putting too much pressure on yourself, thinking that people might disappoint you or whatever. Be yourself. Be the introverted person that you are, but enjoy the ride while you're there. Okay, I think I'm going to end it here. I hope it helps. I hope this gets your summer, spring, spring, summer started with you indulging and meeting other people and having fun with others. I think it would be such, such, such a good time for you only if you put in the work. If you want to make new friends, the ball is in your court. There's always a lot of places where you can find the social clubs that people meet just to go out for brunch. Join it. Ask when the next session is. Whoever's got that, that account on Instagram or TikTok, whatever, DM them like, hi, this sounds so exciting. This is something that I'd really like to partake in. When is your next brunch meeting? How does everything work? Blah, blah, blah. Literally, you're going to have to get out the house. You're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to engage. You're going to have to try. Whether it's with a seasoned content creator, whether it's not with a seasoned content creator, whether some, but everybody who's on social media who creates content is a content creator. So whoever it may be, if you want, if you feel like you can resonate with this person and you share so many similarities with this person and you feel like something could come of this, try. There's no harm in trying. But also be open-minded to the fact that it might not always turn out the way you'd like it to. But that's also okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Join the membership space if you care. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much, as always, for choosing me over and over again. Introverts, come on. We can do better. The sun's coming out. Let's do the most, okay? Until the next video, I will see you very, very soon. Until then, sayonara.